Uh, I'd like to show you my favorite trick. I'm going to start off with the good stuff. It's a rope trick, and I call it a rope trick. The reason I call it a rope trick is because I use rope. <laughs> this is a rope. It has two ends, one on each. To make this difficult, I cut one end off. Now it has one end. <laughs> I go slow in case they're from Aberdeen. So, we cut this end off. Now we have no ends. All that's left is the middle. That's here between. I cut the middle. I call this part cutting the middle. Wrote that myself. Good sir. How many ends? That's wrong. Take off your clothes. <laughs> Yeah, take off your clothes. <laughs> no, really. There's still four ends. Yeah, they're laughing. They've seen you without your clothes. <laughs> but we've got two ends. We've got two ends off. If I cut this end off, and then I throw this end away, then I have no ends, no middle. All I have is a rope. <laughs> this is our first major applause pair. Good, uh, good, sir, you didn't applause. You'll have to do it alone now. <laughs> We're doing a rope trick. <laughs> That's it. Catch the rope. Good. Examine it. Make sure there's no hidden trap doors, secret compartments, Velcro, chewing gum, green things your friends used to wipe on you. Yeah, hold it over your head so everyone can see it. Yeah, stand up so everyone can see it. In fact, why don't you come up here? Let's give him a hand for volunteering. <laughs> the hell, you didn't get any awards. So. <laughs> All right, what's your name? Where are you from? Never mind, nobody cares. Here, you get the scissors. I get the rope. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Tell me when to stop somewhere in the middle. Stop. That's good. Cut the rope in half. Excellent. We use two perfectly equal length pieces. <laughs> You're from Aberdeen. Oh, well, yeah. Same thing. We'll stretch it, make them even. Right, we use two perfectly equal length pieces of rope to do. To do. Cut that end off. Now make them even. <laughs> Right. We use two perfectly equal length. I'm sorry, just cut the long one off. Thanks. Right. We use two perfectly equal. I'm sorry, it's my fault. I picked you. Yeah, we'll start all over. I ask you to cut it in half, try and find the middle. Yeah, we'll tie the ends together. Thank you. All four of you. Tie the ends together, of course. You can't tie the ends together, you know why? It has no ends. Here, we'll prove that point. Oops, here, hold those. See, look, no ends, no middle. Just a rope. Here, you cut the rope in half. I know. We'll get it right one of these times. Good. Now we have two ends, all we need is a middle, then we can start the trick. What was your name? Rowdy. Rowdy figures. <laughs> If Rowdy was to cut this rope at the exact opposite side of the knot, the knot would be in the middle, the middle would be at the ends. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Thanks. Hand Something to that effect. Yeah, just cut the rope. Not my fingers. The rope's white, I'm pink. <laughs> just cut the goddamn rope. <laughs> Here, hold this. <laughs> now that we've established a Rowdy, <laughs> Yeah, see, look, I needed the knot in the middle. Yeah, I didn't want the knot up here, but that's okay. We can untie the tiny piece that goes back and forth. Here, you hold on to the tiny piece. Do everything that I do. Tie your ends together. Take the scissors, cut the rope in half. I don't trust you anymore. I'll use my fingers. They're safer, sharper. Coil it up into a little ball. Put it all back together. <laughs> yeah. While he's doing that, every morning I get up, I tie my shoelaces, then I get the ends caught inside. Has this ever happened to you in Montana? Never. Never? No. I grab my knot and I pull on both ends. This, of course, makes the knot come right out. Of course, Rowdy, if you pull on your knots, you go blind. If he pulls on his knots, he'll go blind. Sometimes they go deaf. That's it. Put the rope in half. Big finale. Excellent. Cut the rope in quarters. Cut the rope in pieces. No, it's homeschooled. Here, you get the ropes. I get the scissors. You put the ropes back together. 
All right, Robbie now puts the ropes completely back together again. Yeah. This is good, because he's never done this before. Oh, we'll get a tacky magician's bag. All tacky magicians have one. All the ropes go into the bag. All the ropes. Oh, all the ropes. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that one too. He's getting an attitude. <laughs> now we'll get some magic whiffle dust. Whee! <laughs> That's why we didn't use him for this trick. <laughs> I'll hold this over your head, pretend you're a tourist. All right, next I get a gun. I shoot the little bag. The red bag. <laughs> Not the old bag. <laughs> this restores the rope. The rope flies out of the bag, changes into a beautiful bird. The bird flies around the audience. And it poops on your head, lady. <laughs> you feel foolish? I'm wondering what kind of gun that is. <laughs> Orange tip, relax. <laughs> How many people think Rowdy looks stupid? <laughs> oh, no, here we go. All right, one, two. Oh, great. Yeah, I get a magic wand. <laughs> Sometimes the gun doesn't work. I wave the wand. shot my turtle. He was a ninja turtle. Look, now he's a mutant. I know, it's no big loss. We're looking at bag. Hey, you did that when I wasn't looking. Look, Rowdy's the magician. Take a bow, they loved you. <laughs> <laughs>